the message is seemingly clear. We can't just, just sit down, we're glad to see you, and we welcome you with full arms and do speak concerning our fundamental rights and justice. With Prince William and Kate Middleton set to arrive in the country on Thursday, Priest Rithman McKinney says a group of Rastafarian organizations are preparing to have their voices heard through a protest. So we don't want to be fooled or to be tricked now that, that all is good and, 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 and dandy and we get our fundamental rights because this Westminster system still keeps us oppressed. Because even those who represent the system, they say we need to change the system. But yet they're still swearing to be loyal to our as a successor. The Rastas are known for their agitation for reparations for the transatlantic slave trade and colonialism. They want compensation and repatriation to Africa for those who want to return. Chair of the Bahamas National Reparations Committee, Dr. Naimbi Hall Campbell Dean, shared a similar view about the visit. So we think that this visit is an opportunity to really lay squarely on the shoulders of William and Kate. Um, the crimes against humanity for the genocide of the original people of this land and the crimes of against humanity for enslavement and the transatlantic slave trade, as well as colonialism and the underdevelopment that it left um, in this nation. Meanwhile, in Jamaica, the royals engage with some Rastas, much to the dismay of McKinney, who says while they would welcome the royal pair to their camp, they would only have them observe and wouldn't allow them to beat their drums. He says there's a fine line between being diplomatic and being subservient. We can, we can entertain them with some, some food and drinks, so be it, but not to say, well, you part of our ceremony, because that's not, this not yours. This belongs to us, and we use this for, for liberation. You need to be liberated. We need to be liberated. So you, you, it's no way you're supposed to be a part of our, our, our ceremony. The royal couple will make stops in New Providence, Abaco and Grand Bahama during their three-day stay. While there have been some protests around their presence in Belize and Jamaica, there have also been displays of support. Nevertheless, McKinney says the Rasta community in the Bahamas has its own message that it wants the royals to receive. This is what we want. We want total fundamental rights and justice from the British Empire. So our way to them is to note that we still are fighting for our fundamental rights and justice. We're still looking for reparation and repatriation, and that's what we've been talking about. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Jared Higgs.